Chase is going to start at the volleyball line. And this is where I think if you can put some of this on paper, right, if you can think about the number of days that you're doing these things, right, you can work on a move a day. So for example, we're going to have Chase at the top of the key. He's going to work all crossovers today. So he's going to start at the top. He's going to attack the middle of the floor. He's going to make a hard right to left crossover. He might do five right to left crossovers. And then he's going to build on it, right? Again, we always want to start at the basics. We want to build ourselves up. So he does those five right to left crossovers as hard and as fast as he can. The first one he might just finish, okay? The second one could be a two foot floater. The third could be a pull up jumper, okay? The fourth could be a change in direction again, right? So we're going to add. So the first one's going to be a right to left cross. Just lay the ball over the basket, right? Get that ball out. Don't get that ball in your pocket, right? As you snap it, we want to push it out. Right? The second one, we could have a two-foot finish. Right? Boom. That's two. Jog back out. Again, working on our conditioning a little bit. Okay? Now we're going to go uh, reverse lip. So we're going to go into the basket. So we cross. Boom. Right? Now we're going to work on that third finish. Okay? I'm out here by myself. It's hot. It's June. It's July. It's August. I want to get better. Right? Now we're going to shoot a little two-foot floater. Right? Now we're mixing some different finishes in of what we want to work on. Boom. Shot. Would have shot it with my left, okay? Now you're going to get in the lane and shoot a little pull-up. So now say it's Monday. I'm going to work on my crossovers on Monday. Let's go. Tuesday, maybe I'm working between the legs. Wednesday, maybe I'm working behind the back, right? Then as I get better and better and better, I can mix them up. I can add dribble moves. I can be creative in how I want to do this. So now we went right to left. Now we got to go left to right. Go ahead. Left to right. Snap. Get away, right? And again, we've built some of these habits in our stationary ball handling, in our ball on a string. We want to have a crossover that looks exactly the same. We want to have a pace that looks exactly the same, right? Now we're going to go two foot. And I really believe that if you put some of this stuff down on paper and you know exactly what your plan is, when you walk into the gym, you're going to have a much more efficient workout, right? All the coaches I know that are in high school, all the coaches I know that are in college, they have practice plans. They're not going, hey, let me just do five makes from this spot, and then figure out what I'm going to do next. There's a purpose, there's a plan, there's an efficiency behind it. You want to have the same thing in your workout, right? So Chase is going to know that it's Monday, he's working on crossovers, and he knows that, hey, I got these five finishes that I consistently am working on to be able to get better and better and better, right? After we would go through some of those dribble moves, and again, you can move them to the right wing, you can play them at the top, you can play them on the, on the left wing, right? Different areas of the floor where you're going to make those moves, okay?